Hello again. Um, I'm continuing on with the first part of the video. I wasn't able to successfully do a water change with one hand and I actually made quite a big mess. But I did manage to get out about one or two gallons. I did use my special brush that I attached to the hose. Um, so now I want to replace some water and the whole point of doing a little of the water change is just to pull out some of those nitrites but without taking out so much water that it's going to impact the cycle. You might see some things floating around in the water and I don't know if that was algae that started to grow or maybe those were things that were on the artificial plants and that's what's causing the water quality to take such a long time to reduce those nitrites into nitrates. So what I'm going to do now is just start adding back some of the water. Again, um, if I had seahorses in here already, I would use pre-mixed water that is allowed to sit so it seasons. But because there are no living creatures in here right now, I'm just going to go ahead and add... Um, some water and some salt and I'm going to need some more here. Got a couple. I've got some water right here handy. I think in one of the future videos, we'll talk about pre-mixing water and having that extra bucket of water on hand, already the correct level for salt, and just letting it sit. So basically, we just scoop one or two um, containers into the tank, and we don't have to worry about readjusting the salt level. My hydrometer is hiding a little bit back here, so I'm trying to find it so it will come out and let me know how I'm doing. There it is. It's popping out. It looks like that popping, it's right in that range. I probably could even add the remaining salt that's in there, so let me add some more water here so that dissolves. swish it a little bit help break down that salt and I still have a little room to top off the tank and like I said even though there's nothing living in this tank right now the whole point of doing a water change is to help re reduce some of that waste load that's in there for whatever reason still and see if we can get some more normal levels of nitrites. So basically that's where we are. You can see the tank looks pretty cloudy because um, I did not use water that was already seasoned that had salt that was sitting in there already. But um, I think I will just conduct small water changes until we get to those levels that we want. And I just wanted to feature this hose with the brush. It's a really neat tool. It is very helpful because as I'm doing the water change, I wish I could have captured it um, so you could see it happening. Maybe I'll get some help next time in recording a video when I'm doing a water change. But I can literally clean the sides of the tank and the bottoms of the tank and then anything that comes off will suction right up through the brush because the brush goes through a hollow tube which connects to the end of the hose. So we'll try that next time. I've learned my lesson that I can't hold a camera and try to do a water change at the same time. But I appreciate you being with me and hanging in there. This journey is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay because for me, this is the fun, is step-by-step -step experimenting and making adjustments as needed. Take care and stay safe.